Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We are here in Factorio where a few things have changed. Yes, indeed. Um, well, the first of all is I spent a bit of time filling out this spot here and oh, is that? Oh, bother. I have a couple accumulators way over here that are not um, powered. That's awkward. Anyway, <laughs> other than that, yeah, I managed to, you know, squeeze some stuff in here. They're kind of like off pattern just to maximize my potential space. And yes, indeed, over here, I have like found every possible spot to squeeze one of these things in. As many accumulators as possible, so you can see I have them all along here. And, uh, you know, where possible, I have my pipes coming in here. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. And I just might... No, I'm going to leave this open for stuff. Yeah. Anyway, actually, I can... Yeah, like that. And, yeah, like that. And we are going to throw in a few more accumulators just because of reasons. Like that. Knowing that the accumulators are 2x2 two two and the solar panels are 3x3, three three, you can start to, you know, you can basically squeeze in as much as you can. Anyway, yeah, our line is pretty well protected by that, and if we ever need to come in here, yeah, we might not want to. Because we could get smacked by the train. So at this point, what am I doing next? Yeah, I haven't really done anything with that. And I think I might want to do something with this. Let's just build a few smart chests because we'll need them in the future. So we are going to need to get this guy power. And like that and like that. And that has 9.4k of resources. <laughs> That's a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of stuff. And I had noticed when I come over here during the break that uh, I didn't have all of these uh, hooked up. I had forgot a whack load of splitters, no, not splitters, inserters. <laughs> but as you can see, they are filling up the belt. We are, of course, going to want to have even more of them. I was thinking about putting one of these buffer systems here, but so far, actually, I might just do that. What if I instead bring this down like this? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Oh, um, I'm going to bring it through here. I'm going to disconnect that just temporarily. Hopefully it didn't ruin, damage my entire factory. Uh, we are good. Hopefully we're good. <laughs> and uh, where's transport belt? Yeah, right here. You're going to probably need a few more underground. So let's grab some plate. Because we are going to be rerouting these. But what I need to do is just uh, reroute this. like that and I'm going to be rerouting this as well although at this present time it is not strictly required because it's more than backed up and oh yes we are going to have to move this and the coal goes up that way so I'm going to want to flip okay we are going to want to do that and then that yeah clear that off and like that awesome now of course we're going to want to reconnect the belt actually did I mess it up um, I'm confused now <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Okay, so that's going up like that. This is coming down like this. Yes, this needs to be the other way. Or wait a minute. No, no, no. It's not going to be the other way. That's right. This is going to be moved down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what's going to be. Getting myself all confused here. All right. So, yeah. This is all going to be coming down here because we are going to have our buffer system. Something like this. Two, three. One over there. Yep, like that. Buffer system set up right here. That'll be good. We are just going to want to, say, connect that to there for now. And that to there for now. I think. <laughs> so that's going to connect to there. And, uh... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's uh, set that up to go this way. Awesome. Now like that. All right, we got it going. And just to make sure that we got it split off evenly, we are going to split off there as well as here just to balance the belts oh no and yeah I've killed the iron line so oh we have no more space so I'm going to not put it there and we are going to throw all that stuff in. No, not in there. In there! Awesome. So, <laughs> another thing I uh, reworked is this. I no longer have blue signs being produced because I am getting ready to switch these over to go into logistics systems and I kind of messed this up. I decided I didn't want to have the green circuits or the green inserters here because I can only have one basically here I have this working if this is less than 100 unfortunately if this gets 100 where this has nothing then it will not put anything into the chest so uh, that doesn't work all right so now we have this yeah like that and oh I need to remove that and then hook it up. There we go. We got even more iron on the belt. Right, so I'm going to put that there. Since I do not need that. And how many boxes am I going to have here? One, two, three. Like that. Yeah, that'll work. I think. One more box. And we are going to put in... We are going to need even more inserters. Power there. Power's good. Put power... Over here. And do we have the inserters? Do we? Yep, we do. We got some of them. And transport belts. Do we have them? Yes, we do. There they are. Alright, so now what we are going to do... Where did the inserters go? <laughs> did I use them all? Yes, I did. It takes a lot of them. And another box. And I'm going to need another 
five, I believe. One there, one there, one there. One there, one there, and one there. And there we have a buffer for our iron. And what we can do if we wanted to is set up these to be requester chests, or not requester chests, passive provider chests, so that in the event that we need, of course, stuff. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need to build a few more RoboPorts. How about that? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to need uh, only five steel plates. I am going to need iron gear wheels, which will obviously have to be produced. And I'll grab a few of that. And I'll just have the th this make me a bunch of gear wheels, just because I can. Now we need steel. And yes, yeah, steel is planning to be produced logistic condition we are going to have this work if the amount of steel is less than 300 we will switch this to that and yes that is the plan once I get logistics bots I almost always uh, convert this over because it's so so it's a lot more convenient, it's more efficient. You're able to better control what is going. Oh. Oh, bother. You're better able to control what is going into the system and how much actually gets uh, sent to these guys. And yes, I do eventually switch blue over to be supplied directly by logistics spots it's just easier that way for reasons and yep all right so that is good that is good we can might as well set them up uh yep. three let's uh put you here oh i'm going to need to move the coal line, that's right. One more. All right, so we might as well move the coal line because it's in the wrong spot, or going to be in the wrong spot. And I'm just gonna empty this by running this like this. Back up like this. And we only need some of it to about uh, yet yeah, here. If we have 12 of these. We are going to yeah only have this work if the there is enough in the or not enough in the logistics system. Get those hooked up. And we are going to put this here, 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 and here. We need two more long-handed. Here. And one more. Right here. Power. Power here and here. And this is not in the logistics network, so we are going to need to find our... Did I not grab steel? Oh. Okay, let's uh, grab steel. And build us a RoboPort. That's going to take a little while, and yes, it needs to build more of those. You're going to have this run this way. like this with a smart inserter and of course of course going to need power and yes I have it uh, giving me some advanced circuits and yes you're going to eat them off the first of all we're going to get rid of that and like that 
We are going to set these up to logistics network. We are going to set up so that there are more than or no less than say 300 in the network. And yep. All right, so our factory is already smart. Is already SMRT. It's just waiting. And how many is in the logistics network? There's only a hundred. Yep, this is set to. Let's uh, just uh, max that out. Same thing with this. Now, is this working? Is this working? This has no filter. Why does it have no filter? Oh, that's right. That should work if there is... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. They're not in the logistics network, so we are going to have to set that up. Alright, so if we place it about... Here right down here in the trees All right, so it is we know that it's that way and yeah that is the perfect position and I I planned that all along that's where I knew exactly where my copper was going to be so a robo port would be no no I'm just joking <laughs> no I'm not that clairvoyant <laughs> it'd be kind of sweet though if I was <laughs> uh, copper oh I'm gonna have to shift this over that's right um, let's do that like this underground 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 or did I do that? no I did that wrong spot wrong way all right, so like that and like that. We are going to shift this over like that and reconnect the coal. And at this point, uh, yeah, still needs power. That's right. Can't forget the power. All right, so that provides a additional section of the logistics network covering most of the base and this has no logistics network condition what oh does it have to wait there we go there it's working now it's working yep and that's going the wrong direction so we are going to reconnect that Send that in the right direction. We are going to remove those because it is not needed anymore. And yeah, this is covered by the network, so we can keep that nice and supplied. Plus, those are in the religious six network, so we don't actually need this anymore. And we can move our blue science anywhere we want now. Clean that up. We can also clean this up. And this, oh yes. I planned it all along. <laughs> uh, let's build us another provi passive provider chest. Not that. Yeah, we're not gonna. Let's just dismantle this. All right, so that has been cleaned up. And I'm thinking we can put, All right, so the steel is in the logistics system. We have batteries in the logistics system, advanced circuits, and 
Smart inserters. So yeah, this can go anywhere we want it to. And the same thing I'm going to do with this. We're going to switch those out. And I'm guessing you know what's going to come next. Uh, of course, of course. I'm going to throw those in chests. We're going to obviously need a smart inserter. And this will work if there are, let's say, less than 100 in the network. What I am going to do is eat up all these yummy science packs for reasons. We are going to throw these. Where are they? Right there. No, not that. Right there and there. Not those either. All right. So we can actually clean this up. We don't need it anymore. We can clean that up. And this is finally gone. Awesome. Now what we can do is naturally replace one of those. Place one of those and place that. Oh, we broke our pipe. We broke our pipe. All right. So now, what do we have in the logistics network? We have 6.3k of stone. That's awesome. We have 402 batteries, 253 advanced circuits we can actually throw in a bit more iron into the system we just need yes indeed smart chests lots of them steel chest electronic circuits let's uh, grab steel from these guys and yeah I think there is one of these is a smart chest. No, that's iron ore. That's iron ore. This one is a smart chest. What are you doing in here? Go get me some stuff. Let's uh, do some research. Logistic robot speed, 50 of each. And I may have to fix the, um, yeah, I'm going to have to fix the research. <laughs> yeah. Because they're not being supplied with blue anymore. So I'm going to, uh, until I figure something else out, we're going to just, um, yeah. Let's, uh, put you there. You are going to blue. No, we're going to put 10 in here, 10 in there. And can we make any more? No, we can't. We need smart chests, smart chests. that and I might as well move all these yep I'm going to let's just tear down let's tear down but I might oh yeah that was the uh, shotgun anyway I might uh, clean this up off camera yeah, I'm going to have to do that off camera and I'll take a break here. We'll come back for some more Factorio. 
Hope you're enjoying this series and oh oh yes that's right I blew something up or I shot something and so now it is going to annoy me wait a minute how much is my base no what's happening with power oh we may have some issues steam engines might not be all right so i'm going to have to fix that as well my name is scott for sb gaming thank you for watching this episode of factorio hope you're enjoying the series so far and have a good day